Hello and welcome back to TW 2016, The Branding Solution, and this is episode 100. And we are here on a, a plane up shockwave episode. Unfortunately, it didn't quite fall on any special event. And we are diving in with the pre show, but I've tried to do. Uh, I've got not got many matches on the card, but they're all a lot of people involved. But on the pre show, I gave the Golden Trooper victory. They haven't won in a while. Let's just forget much about that. Fandango defeated Rhino. Yeah, fine. Um, Kane faced Ace Hawkins, Carino, Finley Jr. and Biff Boussac in a four-on-one match. And Kane dominated. Yeah, I wanted to do this. I haven't really used Kane too much. Biff Boussac is probably getting ready to be almost on the main card as well. So Ace Hawkins' performances have increased quite a lot since I signed it. Uh, Braun Strowman has a nice little squash match. Zack Ryder defeats Kevin Kyle. Yeah, okay. We know. Nothing fancy. And my main event was Nakamura defeating Cody Hall. And obviously we know they were both in New Japan together, so we get good chemistry and a good match to end the pre-show. Heading into the main show, I had to not to write the promos for this, but we have AJ Styles and CM Punk trading words, and what they're going to do is have AJ Styles' team face the team the club will face, and CM Punk's team will face the team facing, the, facing AJ's club without AJ. I think this just does a little thing, moves both storylines along. And gets both teams important matches. So we start in a total elimination match with AJ Styles' team of Bobby Roode, Bubba Ray, Rusev, and Sandow defeating Aries, the Briscoe Brothers, and Primetime Players. Um, yeah, it was pretty much a routine one. I believe AJ Styles' team didn't even lose a member. Which is the big thing with this. Um, we wanted them to be dominant really as well. As you can see by in-ring performances, AJ, Rusev, get the 80s. Austin Aries is up to 66, which is nice. And we moved a few storylines along. And afterwards, Okada comes out and attacks Sandow. Which helps the US storyline a little bit too. We then move into a battle royal to announce the new number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. And Pentagon Junior won. Um, we've moved a few storylines along. It's a solid enough match. There are all Cruiserweights in there. And so we've booked that match for tables, ladders and chairs. And we have a nice little three-way match. We made it a European match. I wanted it to have some bearing on some part of my 100th episode. I have a few bigger matches. A few title match. Or one. Um, Cesaro wins by pinning Adam Cole. Makes number three defence. So, yes, I'm happy. But then the whole of Tyler Breeze's team come out and attack Adam Cole. Because he cost Adam Cole the European Championship. Um, John Cena sits down with Stone Cold to discuss the beating he took at the hands of Brock Lesnar. He's got all the matter right like that neck brace on, and he's like, "I'm when I'm healed, I'm coming back for Lesnar. We're going to settle this once and for all." So I think works. Um, now we have CM Punk's team. Cody Orton, Max and Apollo Crews defeat the club and I believe it's no, oh, Apollo Crews did get eliminated otherwise I thought it was going to be a clean sweep by the club 
against the club even. Yeah, we did all what we needed to do. Yeah, I'm happy. We've got a few improvements. 72 is a solid rating. And afterwards, uh, Rusev comes out and brawls with Randy Orton to the back like they would, just constantly wailing on each other. And then AJ Styles and CM Punk have to be held back. AJ by the club, Punk by the rest. Very intensely done. And I've probably messed up the show by not making this the end of it. But we have Brock Lesnar defeat Mark Henry. Didn't click. Great. It's still a solid enough match. I want to have Brock Lesnar on the card. And this follows with a 100% rating. And this, I made a very long segment. It's nearly 7-8 minutes long. John Cena comes out full on a mission. Still chair in hand and just Beats Brock Lesnar down before putting him through the announce table, picking him up again, putting him through the second announce table, and absolutely annihilating Brock Lesnar after what he does. He is no longer injured. He wants Lesnar to feel the pain he had to go through. And I'm actually willing to put this as a potential backup match, depending on time for Survivor Series. But I may save it for tables, ladders and chairs to have their decider. Because you can keep the rivalry fizzing going into the Royal Rumble where it will end. It will end by the Royal Rumble. We're not going to have a base each other every pay-per-view. I want John Cena to work with some of the younger talent. But I want these to have a deciding match. At the moment it's 1-1. One, one. And I, I just got to figure out who I want Brock Lesnar to go against really. But that ending the show could have saved what is quite a short show full of matches. Um, let's see what we got. We've only got a 78, <laughs> even though we end. I, I don't know. We'll go back, see how the storylines are unfolding. Um, so I'll speak to you in a minute. Um, we've made it back to the main screen. Uh, we're only number two on this, because we always go against... Other ones are better. That's four, well, two matches. That must be like an hour-long show. Ridiculous. Another contract ending. Better do that one. As we did renew them. The whole faction is getting renewed. His age, he can have three years. He's easy to terminate if it doesn't go well. Rhino needs more time to heal. Okay, I accept that. Let's dive in and see what is happening with Shockwave storylines. Beast on Leash still only 66. It's because we missed one week. The video package didn't move the storyline along. It's so frustrating. 56 for that. 59. 74, not good enough, and that's up to 77, I'm happy, and 71, which is really good. Um, anybody gaining any momentum here? Braun Strowman, um, anybody new on that? Nope, even though our truth had a win. Um, they're actually going to end the show there. Good. Um, so thank you for watching and we'll be back with Raw and with 100 down what should be the next target